Now, sometimes you are going to need to create a new column, but you don't know exactly how to go about it, and you probably cannot even find any user interface button in Power Query that can achieve that for you. That is when you may want to consider using column from example. So, column from example in Power Query is one of those that you will find very, very useful for Power Query to do the job for you, for Power Query to figure out exactly what you are trying to do as long as there is a clear pattern. So for example, let's assume that I would like to create student emails for these students' names right now. And I would like to use a pattern that is going to have the first character of the student's first name, dot the student's surname, then maybe at foresightbi.com.ng for example. So I'm going to click on my add column tab and I will select column from examples. Then, because I already have that column that is going to serve as input selected, if you have multiple columns that need to serve as input, then you can select multiple columns before you come to column from example and select from selection. Then you will have a new blank column here that can essentially allow you to type in what you want to see. And when you provide a couple of examples, Power Query is going to continue to guess what you are trying to do and then it will help you to complete the rest of the rows or the rest of the records based on the same pattern that you have provided in your example. So Power Query is going to use like the first 1000 rows of your data to find your pattern and the more examples you provide, the more Power Query is going to try to understand the pattern. However, if you provide too many examples without Power Query seeing any pattern at all, it's not going to return anything meaningful. As a matter of fact, it will not even return any output for you at all. So I'm going to start by typing in here d.powers at foresightbi.com.ng. Then I will go to any other cell to try to provide another example. So here I'm going to use m.brown at foresightbi.com.ng then i will try to provide another example again and by the time i try to provide more examples power query is going to fill the remainder of the cells with suggested solutions of what you are trying to do then you will go and click ok and there are so many other ways you can use color from example and it is just something you would like to have when you need to create a new column and you don't know exactly how to go about it and you are sure that there is a clear pattern into what you want to create.